So from our New Mexico mobile newsroom, New Mexico's attorney general addressed an early end to the probation of a former Las Cruces high school teacher who pleaded guilty to inappropriately touching students. The AG says the office has filed an official request called a petition of writ. Sam Harrison which joins us live. Sam, can you explain what this is? Stephanie, a petition of writ is a request to a higher court to review a decision or ruling by a lower court. Now, in this case, Attorney General for the state of New Mexico, Raul Torres, says he is petitioning to the New Mexico State Supreme Court to review possible violations of the law by the judge in the case of Patrick Howard. The petition from the Attorney General has two specific arguments this asking the state Supreme Court to consider. First is the shortening of Patrick Howard's parole, which happened in March of this year. Joan Anna County District Attorney Gerald Byers says it is mandatory for five years of supervised probation. However, he served just under three years. The second is the AG saying the rights of the victims were allegedly violated. DA Byers also telling us today in that press conference that the hearing for the probation shortening request was scheduled on March 19th and held two days later. The DA said that they are required to allow seven work days, not just calendar days, work days for them to inform the victims of the hearing if they wish to attend and be heard. Victims were heard through a statement today delivered by their attorneys. I'm still at a loss for words in all of this. The justice system has failed us one too many times. And it is incredibly disappointing that after fighting for justice and finally being heard, we were immediately undermined. Now the judge in question is Judge Douglas Driggers. I reached out to his office today and when I called his office, they told me that the judicial code prevents the judge from being able to comment on this case as it is an ongoing criminal matter. Attorney General Torres says this petition is also a part of a wider spread concern that he has for courts across the state of New Mexico that he is working to resolve. I'll bring you what his ongoing concerns and what his work to fix certain problems that he brought up today are coming up on ABC 7 at 6. Now reporting live in Las Cruces, New Mexico, Mobile Newsroom. Sam Harris, Simowitz, ABC 7. All right, Sam, thank you. Don't forget to download the KBIA News app. It's constantly updated with all the changes happening in the borderland. It is free and available on the App Store and Google Play.